Let's talk about solving systems of linear equations using the substitution method. And we can tell a little bit about how this method works just by the name, substitution. So here we have a system of linear equations. We have 4x minus 3y equals 10 and y equals x minus 5. And we'll do exactly what the name tells us to do. We're, we're going to substitute. And so we have this y here, y equals x minus 5. So I'm going to substitute it in for the y in the first equation. And when I do that, I'm going to be careful to put parentheses around it because this is 3 times all of y. So when we plug in, it has to be 3 times all of x minus 5. So let's do it here. So we're plugging in. So then this first equation up here becomes 4x minus 3. Now it's x minus 5 equals 10. All right, because this x minus 5 was originally y, but we decided to substitute in for that value. And look what we have now. We have a single equation with just x's in it, and we can solve that. All right, let's do it. 4x minus, I'm going to take this minus 3 and distribute it through. So this becomes 4x minus 3x plus 15 equals 10. Okay, combine like terms, we get, well, 4x minus 3x is simply x. Now I'll subtract 15 from both sides to get x equals negative 5. All right, so there's part of our answer, but it's not our entire answer. Remember, when you have a system of equations, the answer needs to be in the form of a point, an ordered pair something comma something else, x and y, or at least you need to have it as x equals something and y equals something. Because the answer, the solution to the system of equations is where these two lines cross. These are both going to be lines, and where two lines cross is an ordered pair, also known as a point. Okay, so how do we get the other one? Well, what we do now is bag substitute. So we have x equals negative 5. We need y, so I'm going to plug this in right here. Our x equals negative 5 gets plugged in for that x. Okay, so we have y equals, now we have negative 5 for x minus 5 again equals negative 10. So there's our second part of the answer. So you could leave your answer as x equals negative 5, y equals negative 10, or you could do it in one final answer as an ordered pair, which is usually the best way of doing it negative 5, comma, negative 10. There we go.